Hello, it's David Jennings, founder and author of the best-selling book, Systemology. And in this video, I wanted to answer a question that has come in through our community. And I haven't really answered it before, and I think it might be really helpful for you. So the question is, there are many meetings that we record via Zoom that we want to have documented as trainings. Now, this is quite common in a post-COVID world where everybody's running Zoom meetings and different team members are meeting, where great information comes out of those Zoom calls and then they're just lost. It might be a moment in time, the team member forgets it, new team members wouldn't see it, the greater team wouldn't see it. So how can we extract those gold nuggets that might be sitting in those Zoom meetings and turn them into documentation and training and systems that the team can then use and get benefit from. And the question here is, what is considered best practice when uploading the videos in regards to accompanying notes? Should I include key points? Should it include a transcript and condense that transcript? Not too sure how to handle these things or how do others document these types of videos in terms of supplemental written info? So a really great question, um, very topical right now with all of the Zoom meetings that people are running. And I think the best way to show you this is actually to jump into our project management platform and show you the way that we do it. So uh, inside Systemology, we happen to use a platform called Asana. It doesn't really matter what tool you use, as long as you get the thinking behind this and then you deploy it inside your business. So the key is how do we capture the idea and then make sure that that gets to the right person so that it can get documented and organized and stored uh, with as little friction as possible. Because oftentimes, you know, it might be the business owner or someone on the leadership team or a supervisor, department head who's mentioned this and they're busy enough as it is. And if they have to think about getting it all chopped up and documented and submitting it, I mean, they're busy enough as it is. So they're not going to find time to do this. So you need to make this as smooth as possible, as frictionless as possible, where it can just be captured in that recording and then shared to a team member to then help to execute on that. So if you have a little bit of a look here, this is the way that we do it. We actually have a section inside our Asana where we have a documentation request. And what ends up happening is the recording on that Zoom call gets snipped out and there's, hey, here's the little video. And then we submit a request into a team member to take over that. Oftentimes that request might even done be done by an administrative assistant who was live on that call. But they'll go, who the knowledgeable worker is? Who's the documenter going to be? In what department is it? Is it a system, a policy, or a training? Is it an overview system or a subsystem? And some of these things we talk about in the systemology book. So I won't just re go over them. But what is it? Um, is this like can you give an overview of it or a specific outcome then we link to the recording itself now if there's any additional documentation sometimes it's a transcript sometimes it might be some bullet points that came out from it we might link to that then we think about where inside system hub which is where we save all of our systems and processes is that going to live is there an associated asana task with it um, is there a uh, task owner who then owns that asana task and also, what is the, the trigger that basically makes this happen? And there's a few steps underneath here around uh, making sure that you review all of the material, ask any questions. Once it's all being documented or you've got your first draft, you get the senior team member to review it before basically it gets pushed out and then rolled out. So as you can see here, we have a real clear way to make this happen, which is quite frictionless. So I might be on a Zoom meeting. I might say, oh, here is you know a fantastic way, and I'll use a live example, like this is one that we've just done really recently, um, where I said, hey, we need a system and a process for the way that one-on-one -on -one meetings are run by department heads with their team members. So I basically met with uh, Arla and, and it was in one of the meetings that we had, we recorded it, and then I basically went ahead and made the documentation request, which you can see is this one down here, how to run on one, uh, sorry, how to run a one-on-one -on -one supervisor meeting. Now, uh, the output, once that goes through, you can see this is in for review. So the document has gone through it and it's now waiting for Arla to review for this final sign off. But this would give you an example of what that looks like. So you see here, here's the video of me walking through at a high level and just getting it out of my brain. Then it went into 
um, Asana, and we had a team member who reviewed all that, pulled out the key points, and then started to do the first version of the documentation. Uh, we organize and store all of our systems and processes inside System Hub, so that's what this looks like. And you'll notice here, here is now the outline. So uh, how to run a one-on-one -on -one supervisor call. We, we open with some pleasantries, we discuss what happened the week before, we let the team member talk about some of those past tasks, we talk about what's happening with the week that's coming, we ask them what their plan is and if they've got any questions, and then we ask for any additional clarifications. So now we've just bottled this training. A, a new supervisor could watch this, this wouldn't be lost because there's a video that they could watch and they go, oh, I get it, and then there is a plan, a system for them that they could then follow as well, so they didn't have to watch the video every single time. So there are just some thoughts around how we do it. Hopefully that gives you some ideas. Of course, if you want to learn more about the way that we do things at Systemology, check out a copy of the book. You can head over to Amazon or Audible, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.